Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the PCFX. So a lot of you guys probably don't even know what a PCFX is or have never seen one in real life. Uh, the PCFX is one of the NEC systems that came out, I think it was like one of their last systems that came out. It came out uh, after the Turbo Graphics and the Turbo Duo and the Super Graphics and the Core Graphics and all that other stuff. And it basically just looks like a big white computer tower uh, with a uh, top loading optical drive um, with just, you know, a simple spring loaded flip lid. Uh, the controllers are six buttons and, you know, one directional pad and, you know, fairly basic. Um, this system was only released in Japan and uh, it's one of the few Japanese systems uh, that I own, if not the only Japanese system that I own. Now, people can argue that uh, one of my Neo Geo Pocket Colors that I own is a Japanese system as well, but uh, I don't really think that that counts because it plays US games and uh, PCFX has no US games unless they've been fan translated. Uh, so these are my, my favorite games for the system. Uh, I've, I've been an NEC fan for quite some time. Uh, back in the 16-bit wars I actually did not choose Nintendo or Sega. I actually went with NEC and chose the Turbo Graphics. And, Ever since then, I've just been bit by the bug. Um, I don't regret owning the system. I do regret kind of the price that I paid, uh, especially with the import taxes and everything else I had to pay for it. Um, but again, these are my favorite games that I play on the system. Uh, now I'm going to butcher the name is Zero uh, Zero Gear or Zero Gar uh, by NEC in 1997. Uh, this is one of the few shmups on the game. You don't have to know a lot of Japanese to actually play this game. But it's a lot of fun. You can just fly around and blow things up and just have a blast. Uh, the next one is Battle Heat by Hudson Soft 1994. Uh, this is more of like a, a Fef, an FMV style fighting game. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to control it just quite yet, um, and I just haven't spent enough time with it. But again, it was just one of those things, back when it was first released, this was very innovative, and uh, you could you know, battle each other and have these like anime style sequences going off as part of your battle sequence. Um, you know, it's just a fun game. and then. Lastly, uh, Zenki, 1995, again by Hudson Soft. Uh, this is more of your, uh, you know, beat 'em up platformer style game where you can play as Zenki or his main love interest, which I've, the, game, the name escapes me right now. But uh, this is actually a very, very good game. Uh, if you're going to pick up a PCFX, I would suggest uh, the uh, Zero Gar and. Uh, Zen key as well. Um, you know, it's it's actually kind of hard to pick these systems up. Um, it is hard to get a second controller for these systems. And uh, I actually managed to get very lucky, and I picked up a memory card for it as well. Although I have not found that any of my games actually use the memory card, um, but. Uh, also, I don't read Japanese, so I'm just kind of like reading off of what other people have discovered and just kind of using their guides to trip through this system and stuff. Um, when you're purchasing one of these, um, make sure it comes with a controller. Uh, make sure that, uh, you know, I think the, yeah, the power cable is actually attached to the unit, um, and the, the hookups are fairly basic. Uh, you know, all you have to do is have like an S-Video cable, cable or uh, the com composite cables, you know, out of the back, and you know they're not proprietary hookups or anything like that. So I mean, it's it's about as basic as you know as it gets with those things. But um, you know, I enjoy having it. It's it's another one of those uh, systems that that kind of stands out in my collection. 
and you know every once in a while I'll just get the itch and I'll start playing uh, the Zero Gar or Zen Key and those are my two most played games on that system. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.